Whoa, look at the state of me. Monday evening, cannot breathe in this mask, so I'm gonna keep this intro very short and sweet. Jess and I are sweeping up, well, we're sweeping, sanding, these builders' masks. Oh, they're so uncomfortable. We're basically doing loads of cleaning and finishing bits while we wait for the gas engineer to come and connect our hob. And then we're ordering a Domino's tonight, which is very exciting, because I'm already starving. And as you can see, it's 6.25. I've just been uploading a video here, because we have no internet in the flat. But, oh, this mask is so uncomfortable. It really hurts my nose. Ouch. Okay, Joss is piling stuff up on the workshop. But it's so dusty everywhere. The kitchen people were terrible at cleaning up after themselves. In fact, the people that really did were the worktop people. They were really, really good. They polished everything. They were so, they were just so good. Kitchen people were a bloody nightmare. But yeah, I've swept this up so far from here. And look at how nice this floor looks. Bathroom cabinet needs to go back to Ikea. Bit of recycling there. We bought a massive brush head. And yeah, so let's do this. had to switch to a regular mask. Those builders masks are awful. I understand why none of our builders have ever worn one. I couldn't breathe, I felt so suffocated. I'd rather lick the dust and look at it. There's so much of it. Right, let's try and do a time lapse this time. gas engineers have been and look at our hob oh my god it looks amazing he actually had it all fired up all five rings and i couldn't get to my camera to film it i'm not gonna do it again because what is the point but oh i'm so happy with it we nearly had a heart attack oh hold on go on then jas do the honors let me just do it Oh. Whoa! That's you can't cool. really see it on camera. I feel like, why are we doing this? At least this is one appliance we don't have to learn how to use. <laughs> like a washing machine and a new oven and a dishwasher because we've never owned one. In fact, here's a little it. tour of our kitchen. Ugh, dishwasher. They tested it, which is why it's all wet. I'm not going to give you a full tour actually because I'm going to save that for a separate well, video. Awesome. Can I just, sorry. This is an oven. This is a combi microwave so I think you can use it as a grill slash oven and a microwave. And then just to make it look symmetrical, we've got a warming drawer because obviously this is a lot um, smaller than this. And most people have this just to make the ovens look symmetrical but they actually don't use them <laughs> you can warm plates in this you can prove dough which is not something i don't think i'll be doing because i don't bake <laughs> and then we have our larder unit which has got my mirror in it and i'm really happy they cut the shelves around the pillar i thought they would just thought they wouldn't and i was like well what happens to the stuff at the back so yep yeah, that kind of conceals that pillar a little bit this is our fridge in fact hold on i've not even opened the freezer up yet to have a look at it this cupboard is a mess this is our boiler here we go this was so wonky because the gas engineer that did it was just ridiculous we didn't like him and uh what's this called a washer dryer and and we've got a corner unit, Belfast sink. We've got a really slim line cabinet just there. We have six drawers here. And once this whole island is clear, this will be a seating area. Our bar stools actually arrived today and one of our neighbors across the road very kindly took them in because she was like, you can't trust delivery people. They'll never come back with them, which was really nice of her. These are cabinets. There's not actually much storage in there. We didn't think there'd be any storage in here because this is meant to just house the downdraft extractor. 
but we managed to get a little bit of storage out like I guess I could probably put like a vase or something in here I was planning to put like Tupperware and stuff in here because I have tons of Tupperware but it doesn't have a back because of the downdraft and so if I ever drop anything oh around the back of it I'm never going to be able to get to it because it'll just fall into the middle and so the kitchen guy was like I suggest storing big pots and pans which is a good idea but you know whatever it's not the end of the world at least we've got a little bit of storage because we didn't think we'd have any and so this is what the kitchen looks like oh we've also got a wall hung cabinet there just as I went to track my pizza it says lols because our pizza has arrived and I'm so hungry very excited for this what do we get pizza wedges are these chicken wings yeah and if you guys don't order the garlic dip from Domino's, I'm sorry, but oh, is this leaking? <laughs> I'm sorry, but we cannot be friends. Like, this is literally the only reason I get Domino's, because this is just unlike any other. And Jas is trying to find a way for me to watch Love Island. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> God, we've been in Ikea for about 62 years trying to return this stupid cabinet. The guy's being really arsy. It's got like a massive gap in it. I just don't understand. It can't possibly meant to have a really big gap like this. Oh, there's such a long queue of people just watching me vlog. Hold on. <laughs> Look at these people everywhere. Ikea was a complete nightmare. The guy was so unhelpful, but it was all right in the end because he realized that we weren't lying and the item was damaged, but we basically stood there for like 45 minutes because apparently their returns department is super long and they try really hard not to take things back. I've never experienced this before, but the electrician was telling me. The kitchen fitters have been in to finish off a few little bits. We're so hungry, it's almost 7.30 p.m. But let me just show you what they've done. So, you may remember, I had two cabinet handles like this. This was meant to be the integrated bin. I was talking to the electrician, he asked Jas, and Jas must have asked me, maybe, I don't know, and he said, yeah, yeah, and then it was too late to change it. So now, our integrated bin is there, and not here. <laughs> which is fine I mean at this point I just want to get on with my life and move in you know it's fine at least we have the bin at least it frees up one more box one more box that I can now lay back down onto the floor and my pendant lights are up this is why we came here first thing in the morning to meet the electrician to tell him how high and whatever we need to fill this bit obviously uh, because he had to move it in a little bit so that the light doesn't overlap the island but <clears throat> they're super dusty at the moment like everything in this house including the back of my throat <laughs> so once they're all clean and polished and whatever they'll look a lot better and we also need to get some nicer bulbs these were just cheap ones from Tesco because you're supposed to use cheap ones when you first test the lights and things like that we have so many off cuts from our kitchen there's a little bit here there's oh god he was supposed to cut this in half for me so I can put it in my car to take to the tip and there was loads around here that luckily they chopped up for me I forgot to tell them and they forgot to do it but um, yeah it's freed up a lot of space in this living room and we ordered some bar stools from Danelm um, a few days ago and they've arrived so I'm just gonna assemble one just to see what it looks like and then I can get rid of like two boxes which would be great assuming that I like them of course <laughs> Ok 
guys, my battery's gonna die, so I had to call in some help because I have no scissors and I'm using like a blade that I found in the house and look away now if you don't like the sight of blood because I cut myself. <sighs> it's really painful. Today is a big day. It's Wednesday morning, it's first thing in the morning. Just has left the front door open, I don't know why. We're at the house and today's keep hearing noises. Um, we're at the house and today's kind of our last full day to do all the dirty stuff. So we're gonna try and get all the sanding out of the way, filling, which hopefully there isn't much more left to do, and try and get as much painting done as possible as well. We just need to like go, 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 and really push ourselves today to get as much done as possible because tomorrow morning at about 10 a.m. I've got a professional cleaning company coming in and they're basically gonna clean the house, obviously. And then on Friday, um, we're getting the carpets fitted. So it's kind of fine if the stuff downstairs in this area isn't done. It needs to be sanded to just get rid of all the dust. But the painting around here, the touch-ups and stuff will have to just wait because the flooring's already down. But it's going to be a lot harder to get rid of dust from a carpet obviously so that's kind of our plan today so the cleaning company um basically clean all the appliances that are in the house so this is our microwave from the flat that we've just bought this morning because my because once we've officially moved in we're donating that microwave to my cousin and um, we have like a built-in one, but I just thought they're gonna clean it. So we'll bring it and I've also brought some food with us for lunch because Honestly, this past like week to ten days has been a joke Like we have had to eat out every single day for either lunch or dinner and often both days and during that time we've had odd days where my aunts have like cooked for us or my parents have sent some food with my cousins that went up to see them and whatever and so we have had like a few home cooked meals but they've been quite few and far between and it's just we just feel like shit eating shit all the time so i've just shut the front door there's quite a lot that needs doing this is the living room there's a lot of like touch up paint sanding the doors down but because all the light fittings are up they need to be all taped up and the mirrors up Ooh, concrete shelf needs to go up after we've painted around it there's just like a lot to do it's pretty unachievable for two people in one day but we'll do the best we can because that's all we can do and um also there was a little problem yesterday so kitchen's been fitted but annoyingly this downdraft extractor seems to be faulty. So I need to call the company now that it's just gone 9 a.m. I didn't know that the brand of this downdraft extractor is SEA, and that's made by a company called Ship It Appliances. Didn't know this because they're the only people that sell it. You can buy it on eBay and Amazon, and when you look closely, it's actually their own accounts. So it's not like a known brand. It's not like Neff or Bosch or whatever. The reason we went for this was because, first of all, it was a lot cheaper, but it's smaller it's hard to tell but this is 60 centimeters whereas most of them are a meter which is basically oh hold on so this is 60 centimeters a meter would be longer than this hob which would look a bit weird we don't need one that big and also <laughs> this unit would have to be bigger which means we wouldn't get two bar stools in and it basically just impacts on the whole thing it's a little bit annoying so we kind of went with this brand and it has like a glass plate on the front of it it's kind of held by two magnets at the top when the kitchen fitters went to test it yesterday the magnets had sort of detached themselves and it's kind of fallen through this gap and there's just no way of getting it out so they sort of had a go to try and get it out me and jas helped but there was just and there's just no moving it and then they were like if we try too hard it might void your warranty so i need to get on the phone to them to try and get someone out to just hopefully come and sort that out busy day today isn't it jas yep sure is are you ready yep <laughs> these lights look so nice i'm a little bit annoyed about these bar stools because even in the daylight now they're definitely not gold are they Bastards. No, they're, they're, they're definitely rose, rose gold. Definitely rose oh, I hate rose gold. It's so <clears throat> yeah. I thought it was just because it was evening. Let me show you. I love the style of them. I also love that they're not too high. 
because you know some bar stools, like in certain restaurants, I reached a, a bit of a struggle to get onto. This is polished brass. This tap here is satin brass. It's the closest we could find. And this, to me, oh, it's just a bloody rose gold. The box says gold as well. I'm going to open the other one up today as well, but uh, is all I have to say. For deliveries, press two. For attempts, press three. Why do you calling ship its appliances? Please be aware, our options have recently changed. For sales, press one. For customer care, for deliveries, press... Why do they always hang up on me? This always happens. Here we are. Just let Hetty out the box. Gonna oh, use her. So <laughs> Initially, she finds it too cute to use. This is the contents it comes with. And some bag I need to put install in the Hoover. And wherever these bits are. And then this one I need as well. So I've assembled the second one and they look very different and the reason is the one I've just done does say front, the other one didn't say it and they're actually, that's the back bit isn't it Jas? Yep. It's really hard to tell. Um, the seats look hold. different as well. I kind of tell only like, yeah, because they're kind of like, see like one's a bit back, one's, this one's a bit more laid back where this one isn't. Yeah, but that, I thought this was too laid back. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. And also, is this one less gold? What? Is this one more gold and that one's... A bit orangey. Oh, oh, don't oh, tell me. Oh shit, you're right, look. I don't know. Can we, put oh, them, can we put them under the skylight? Keep them right next to each other, right? Yeah. There's a little subtle difference, isn't there, with that one and that there one? There is. Oh, for Christ's sake. This one definitely looks copper. That one, yeah, you're right. We've decided. It's hard to tell the, the one camera. that we have assembled wrong is more copper. I'm going to send it back. Honestly, I notice these things and it drives me mad. Like, why can nothing go smoothly? Why am I constantly buying stuff and sending it back? Let me try and these people again. Thank you for calling. Check it appliance. Please be aware. Why does it just hang up? Have they got my number on the system? It's the same we had before with another company where I try to ring them. It's the same company. But they reply on email, I'm going to email them. I just put my phone on withheld number and it went one. through. If you're Maybe they're relating to a damaged delivery, press 2. If you are looking to return a product or wanted an update on a product you've already returned, press your call is very important Maybe they blocked my number. Please wait. Oh my god, Jess, is that paint on my forehead? Oh my god, I look like a state. Purdy's drink. We're so tired, it is like 8 30 pm. Jess, we've been at the house for like 12 hours painting. And just, why is this street suddenly got so busy now that I'm vlogging? Look at my hands. Uh, we're just, I mean, I can't even, yeah. Ugh. Gilux paint is awful, especially the. Oh my god, what is yeah. this? Oh, for Christ's sake, okay. We look awful, been at the house for 12 hours, we're now hangry for dinner, but we can't leave because we are getting our alarm fitted tonight, mm. and yeah, really exciting actually. We didn't think they'd be able to fit us in, like literally the night before the cleaners come, and they're probably going to be here till like 10pm. They've ordered themselves pizza, so we just thought we'd go out. Brought them to our friend as well. <laughs> Massive dog. The dog is like the size of our patio. Yeah, basically they've got a dog. I can't remember what breed it is, but um, the, one of the... And the guy said it was a puppy! He's yeah, quite it's big. It's huge! Yeah, it's he's like cute. an actual human yeah, it's quite a cute dog. Legs. The thing is, is um, he obviously had to, he had to bring it with him because apparently he had no one else to babysit him or something like that. Well, they don't normally work evenings Oh or yeah, they do us a favour, yeah. Yeah, anyway. Um, so at the moment he's playing around in our garden. <laughs> yeah, which is fine, as long as it's not in our house. But we're so tired. We've done a lot of painting today. The prep for the painting, the filling, the sanding, the painting, painting of all doors. It's just, we're still not finished. We've still got so much to do, haven't we, Jess? Yes. But... I think we did quite a lot, just, though. We did, we, did, we did do quite a lot. I can't even speak. Anyway, we're going to get some food. And then we're going to go back to the house and hopefully they're kind of done because we have to be here again for 8am tomorrow. Ah. 
Oh my god, I got a cauliflower grill with salad. Mama's chicken shawarma with rice. Just got a chicken shawarma with rice. Mine was a cauliflower shawarma actually. It was so good, it smells really good too. Finally, open this, opening this unit. This is the first thing we ever bought before we even got the key to the yeah, house, didn't we? Yeah, back in November, didn't we? Yeah. Here we are, here comes the big reveal. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> it's quite good. Oh, it does look nice. Guys, I don't even know if you can see me, but it is like gone midnight and we're now on our way home. The alarm guys are still there, just packing up their stuff, as in they've left, but they're just like, I don't know, sorting out their vans or whatever. We're now on our way home and we have to be here, oh my God, in seven hours. <laughs> I'm so shattered, Jess. <sighs> I'm looking forward to getting the house professionally cleaned tomorrow. We've been here for about 15 hours today. Yeah. Knackered, absolutely knackered. I did not think we'd make it here. <laughs> back to the house this morning for 7.59. Oh my God, I can't even. Oh look, it says your alarm was changed to disarmed mode at 7.57. That's really cool, we have an app on our phone for the alarm anyway. <coughs> I feel so ill, but I think it's because I'm run down. We need to do Operation Tidy Up quick time in the next two hours. This is the current state of the house. There's just shit everywhere. <laughs> it's like rubbish, we need to pick up everything up. There's like underlay, which is fine. Um, bits of wood left over from the kitchen. My beautiful drawers. <coughs> Duh. Um, this is not too bad, there's loads of stuff in here, oh my god, Our paints, and upstairs is even worse, actually downstairs is better. There's a guy coming um, any time now to fix the fireplace in the living room because it's broken, the builder's sending him and hopefully he is out of here before 10 because the cleaning company are coming in at 10 o'clock, so that's the plan for today, I'm not vlogging. <laughs> Special blade that doesn't scratch the window, by the way. Uh, yeah, I've hated that sticker since the day we actually viewed the property. Never mind yeah, the Whoa! Yeah, wow, well. that's amazing! Voila! Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it was there. What a day, guys. Um, the professional cleaning company have just left and they've done such a good job. They were so nice as well. I actually found them on recommendation from one of my cousins that used them many years ago. And the guy was just really nice on the phone. I've spoken to him like a million times and he even got that bloody Marlboro sticker off one of the windows in the bedrooms upstairs, which was great. It's really nice. Yeah. So I've taken my shoes off and... Yeah, I don't want to step inside. It's cold and it's chuckled. So, yeah, so could you hide that in the garage? Yeah? Should I open the back door for you? No, I don't come from... The back door back door's already open. All right, so come around this way then. Sorry, we're now being really precious about not walking in the house with shoes on. They even gave us, and they're called overshoes, to put over our trainers, <laughs> which is great. And Jas has just left us here because he went out to the car to get a thermos. It's just been such a tiring day, honestly. So as you walk in, there's literally not a speck of dust. There will still be dust. They can't guarantee to get rid of it forever, obviously, because dust takes a while to settle. In fact, I haven't even been in this room yet, which is quite funny. Wow! They've done so well! And then, look at this. This is the cleanest our kitchen has ever looked. Yep. That blue thing on the ceiling is a dust cover for the smoke alarm, so we need to take that off now that it's been cleaned. But, oh my God, look at all this stuff out in our garden. Oh, it's soggy. <clears throat> soggy oh no, of course. Oh, yeah. 
now i need a coffee i'm feeling so run down over the past few days like honestly we literally got home just after 1am yesterday and we were back here for before eight o'clock so shattered isn't even the word but we need to give it one final push today to get as much painting done as possible before the carpets are in and my plan is to paint the stairs i need to find some clean cardboard to cover the floor with i need to paint this white first paint this black this side's not that urgent but what is urgent is obviously doing these bits because this is where the carpet will be obviously <laughs> Are you in the mood to paint? Not. I'm so over it. I'm so shattered. Literally, we had two hours. We went home for literally two hours before they called us to come back. And for that two hours, one hour, 58 minutes was spent <laughs> sleeping. Yeah, we're doing that. We literally got home, got straight into bed, knocked out. I've never fallen asleep so fast in my life. And literally woke up when the man phoned me to be like, we're done, come back. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, it feels weird when someone actually gives you a compliment about your house, saying we really like your house, that kind of stuff, because we, uh, we never had that before, didn't we? Right? It's so true, it's so true. Like, not a genuine compliment, maybe like someone will say it's nice yeah, or like, whatever. But not like, like it looks clean, that's different. It's like, what they, they like the design, they like, it's like these. He was like really passionate about how much he liked it, not just a, like, you know, oh, you've got a really nice house. Like a, you know, like, it wasn't a polite. The design of it, the layout, the, 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 the colours. He had a lot of specific or, things yeah. that he really liked, which was really nice to hear. Yeah, so it's, because uh, normally it's the way around, but we're doing it. We say, oh, look at these bulbs, or look at these handles, and all that kind of stuff. You know? <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so, I need this coffee. I literally, oh, I can't even, I've got no energy to hold my camera up. Oh. Oh, my my hair is soaking wet. What day is it today? It's Friday. Friday. Oh, my camera's falling off, aren't they? Carpet fitters are in. They're going to be about three hours, so we're going to pop it out. We need to actually wet a mop, a hot bucket, scour it, like loads of cleaning supplies. Let's go to B&M. Um, there's a lot of noise going yeah, on. Yeah, that noise is upstairs, hammering the uh, and, carpet grippers. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. And my beautiful floor that was cleaned yesterday has now got wet footprints all over it. Yeah, that's all right. I suppose I was going to ask if they can take their shoes off. Yeah, but I think they really want to open down, so... But I don't think they can, because obviously the carpet grippers are closed and stuff from them, so I feel like safety. Anyway, I don't think you can hear me. <laughs> We're just going to go to the shops and I'll be back. <laughs> Once again, I find myself back in home base car park. This time, Jas has gone in because I just cannot deal. I'm still waiting for two more paints and I really hope that they have them. Today is actually Jas and I's 11 year wedding anniversary as well. And it's really crazy to think that this time last year was our 10 year anniversary. We'd always planned to go away and of course because of covid it just couldn't happen we didn't manage to go anywhere and this time last year we were so torn about whether to go abroad or not because we were allowed to travel but we didn't really have the money because we were like we need to renovate the property whenever we actually get the house and our mortgage hadn't come through and then my aunt's friend who owns a villa in italy had very kindly offered to let us stay there and she was like just cover the cost of cleaning um after you've left or whatever i can't really remember and it was so nice and it would have been amazing but jas and i were like it's too expensive to fly out covid we had to be on hand for our mortgage people in case you know it finally came through of course it didn't you guys know this if you watched one of my videos about we have exciting news or whatever it was called so yeah um once again we're not celebrating our anniversary like not really um we're celebrating our anniversary with a trip to home base and then the petrol station and then to b&m to try and find some cleaning supplies for the house <sighs> i think we're just gonna take the day off today once the carpets are done i think we just need to do a bit of life admin a bit of laptop work just chill as well because i've not even like gone through my emails i've done nothing apart from paint all week and so is jas and he needs a day off there we are we're getting the carpet done this is the main room have you finished we go. so got the underlay down and the carpet grippers this is the color going for obviously needs a bit of a hoover afterwards I'm 
I left. Yeah, that one's looking good already. Look at that. Very good. You can go upstairs. And then... The carpet has been fitted. And I actually really like the colour of it. I'm so happy we went for this one. Okay, Jas has got a little hint and tip for you, but before we get into it, can I just show you the carpets really quickly? Because they've been fitted and they look really, really good. The guys were like really nice and like they're really professional, weren't they? Yeah, really professional. I don't know why I was not expecting them to be. Oh, you're okay, you can sit there, it's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna sit You're here. very dusty, but okay. <laughs> so I've got slippers on. <laughs> These have been stolen from the hotel. Or yes. how much hotel? Is that ironic? <laughs> Um, anyway, <laughs> this is our carpet. Oh my god, I spent hours painting this yesterday. It took me about five hours. I still haven't done this bottom bit, but that's fine because it's wood and I can cover this. I just really wanted to get this side done, especially the little bits where the where it meets the carpet, you know? It took so long to do this, but what did you say, Jess? Yeah, so it makes a massive difference now that the carpet's on it, and that was the final thing we needed, isn't it? It was all complete. Yes. So well, more. yeah, mostly. Yeah, no, just touch off the paint. We're 99% of the way there. Yeah, I mean, the carpet was a final thing that we had fit, fitted by anyone. Yes. So, no more fitting so, for any other labourer or anything like that. Here we go. I'm not going to show you the whole room yet because, unfortunately, this room still needs painting. So, Ness wants me to share my tip with you guys. So, just along with the carpet, you have to buy these extras, such as the carpet grippers, the underlay and the door bars. Uh, we got quoted around about a thousand from Carpet Right if we wanted to buy that, that lot with them. But I said no, that uh, we'll get that ourselves because no, it's extortionate. So I managed to source the, the door bars myself. Um, I got two of them, or th for three doors. I actually got it for 50 pence from B&Q because uh, they were on sale, surprisingly. And there was another one which I got just full price, which is probably about five run. So that was the door bars done. And then we got the carpet grippers. I got them for free uh, from someone in far Facebook Marketplace. And then just this one here. And then one we he used. also bought, because we had almost a full box free from Facebook Marketplace, but because they'd been sat in some mud, like the bottom bits were a little bit damaged, so we didn't know how much we'd have to cut off. So then Jas bought two extra packs of whatever from Wix. These are only four pounds fifty. Yeah. So it should cost us four pounds. So four pounds fifty for the carpet grippers. Instead of three hundred. Yeah, which was quite, yeah, that's right. Okay. And then the underlay was probably the most expensive. Um, I could have got some cheap ones or even free ones, but they would have been like a one roll or something. But we needed we needed about three rolls. So I thought, no, we saved. So sorry, I'm interrupting. When we got the keys to this house. Um, part of the carpet was new and we knew that because I think she wanted us to choose a colour, then our mortgage didn't come through, whatever, whatever. So they just put new carpet in on the stairs and in one bedroom. So before the builder started, we ripped up all the carpets and um, the underlay and we kept it in black bags in the garage. And because it was good quality, they've actually yeah. used that same underlay. So, so that's it was a roll anyway, definitely. And then the rest we bought on eBay. And the rest I got on eBay, half which was, price. yeah, half the price of what we got quoted from carpet, right? So that's a hint and tip for you, just shop around, don't get what the shops are giving you. Same happened, sorry. And same happened with underlay. Really. Same happened with the fiberboard underlay um, for our laminate flooring. We literally just went to a couple of people's houses that had loads of extras left over, then stuck it on Facebook Marketplace for free. And yeah, got like job done. Fiberboard. about a third of our underlay for the flooring for free. Yeah, this is a fiberboard and underlay and that's not cheap. And the rest was eBay again. Yeah, that's yeah. Right, yeah. So yeah. So was, don't was, pay full price, full price for anything ever. Yeah, shop around and you'll get yourself a good bargain. Okay, it's been a few hours. <laughs> We've got some toilet brushes, some of my fake plants, some little bits and pieces um, with us because we're going to slowly start bringing things in every time we come to the house now. Look at this! <laughs> this is like our stuff. Um, it's obviously not all staying here, by the way, but it's just to keep it out of the way for now. This light is really unflattering. Hold on. That's good, isn't it? No, it's the unflattering light from above. Okay, let's go this way then. Renovation has pretty much come to an end. Oh. And I think this is my last video because today's only Friday, but we're not doing anything tomorrow. Nope, a rash day finally. This week. 
Well, I can't but we are sort of packing a few bits up at the flat, and on Sunday we've got like three, four potential people helping us start to move a few bits in. We're all just going to have a car each and just bring as much as we can and then properly move next weekend. We still have a lot of painting and a lot of touch-ups and a lot of like little things to do and the builder does mm. need to come back because we have a radiator that's leaking and blah, 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 blah. But we can't let that stop us from moving yeah. in, right? It's, your head's been now these, are, now these are minor things. It's not a lot of painting. I think touch-ups. I think everything's been painted. One paint we run out of. Oh, don't! I've spoken but, to them about the home yeah. drama. So that, that's the only <laughs> that one that's wasn't done, in stock today, by the way. That's the only so. one that's done like fifty percent done, isn't it? But the rest of them have been painted. They just need touch-ups now. Yeah. Like in areas, and then obviously the leaking radiator is really tiny drop. There's yeah. loads of fine little details that need to be done. But, but um, yeah, but we nothing's stopping us. We it have done this like for 20, 21, 22 weeks. Whoa, has it been that a long? A video every week, sometimes two that's a week, crazy. we need to this catch is... up. Yeah. And it's been a journey. Yeah. But it's our ending on our anniversary. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes, our anniversary. I'm, yes, so. I'm not crying. Yeah. I just got dusted. <laughs> She's crying really. Yeah. Oh, emotional. emotional. Oh, don't worry about it. It all happens. I'm not <laughs> sure. like a pet. <laughs> anyway, they didn't even see that because your head's been cut off. Anyway, if you've watched every renovation video, please just leave me like a an eye and a thumbs up emoji in the comments down below because. It's been a journey, and I know yeah. some of you have watched every video because I get comments um, every week, which is amazing because there must be think... hours of footage. Every video is about half an hour long times 20 videos. Yeah, I think you probably need to summarize it for everyone, like maybe do a, a there, minute. There will be more. There will be like so clip, much yeah, more clip, content. clip of like what it used to look like because when there's we first gonna, moved in, there's going to be a before and after. So, I've not forgotten what it used to look like now. What the... I found an old photo the other day of, I think it was the estate agent listing, or maybe it was one that we took when we got the keys, and I was like, oh my god, remember this? And do you want to show all these, yeah. all these old photos? And I was oh, like, yeah. wow. It's such a transformation. You don't see it at the time hmm. because yeah, because you're kind of in it. it. Yeah. Like I'm here all the time. But anyway, we need to wrap this up. We've been talking for like almost two and a half minutes. So yeah, yeah. thank you for coming on this journey with us. Um, let me know if you want to still continue seeing more home content. There will be a before and after of the whole house and there'll be a final reveal but this is the end of just the renovation content because thankfully the mm. renovation has come to an end Fine. hallelujah yeah i could not fine. be happier Woo! Ow. <laughs> I couldn't... yeah i can't be... miss it hit your face yeah high five my oh face thanks anyway, very much yeah uh, we're gonna go so mm. thank you for watching and i we will see you soon yeah bye bye